Hey everyone, welcome back to PEX Universe. Today we're going to be going over the differences between wet and dry pressure gauges. The biggest difference between the two comes with the environment the gauge will be in. Say you need a gauge to be used where it isn't exposed to a lot of vibration. Then you can use a dry gauge. As soon as there's vibration involved, however, it will shake the needle making it hard to tell where the readings are at. That's when a wet gauge comes in. The liquid absorbs the shaking and pulsations, allowing you to read exactly what it is telling you. They use glycerin as the filling. You might notice that there is a bubble at the top. If you asked why it's not filled all the way, that is because when the liquid starts to heat up, it will expand. Without the bubble, the gauge will start leaking. Glycerin is the standard fill, which is fine for warmer temperatures, but if you're getting this gauge to be used up north or in colder climates, then you'd want the cold weather fill. This is a mixture of propylene glycol and water. This allows us to go down to negative 45 degrees while having a high end temperature of 350 degrees Fahrenheit. When you get a PFQ, they come with brass internals, but they do have an option for stainless steel internals as well. If you look closely, you'll notice that it is a crimped on casing. Because of this, it's considered a throwaway gauge. If it stops working or broke for any reason, it's built to be replaced with a new one, unlike some of our other gauges that have an accessible body allowing for repairs. It does come with a ventable fill plug. The reason you vent it is to allow pressure to escape. On lower PSI readings like 10 to 60 PSI, you might see an inaccurate gauge or the pointer floating above zero. If there is pressure built up from rising temperatures or changing climate that hasn't been released, you know, maybe when it was shipping, then you can see inaccurate readings. To release the pressure, it's very simple, but be careful not to push the rubber top all the way through or you might need to buy another gauge. Liquid field gauges would especially be used by your liquid powered lines or anywhere there is a lot of pulsation and vibration going on. The liquid fill dampens the pointer out so it can be read easily, as well as lubricates and protects against corrosion for the pointer. These gauges are PSI only, but we do have gauges that have PSI and KPA or other varieties of pressure readings. They have a full variety of flanges. You can have one with a back connection or a U-clamp to allow you to put it into a panel or on the surface of one. The ranges go from full vacuum up to 15,000 PSI. The PFQ gauges come in an inch and a half, two and a half, or four inch dial sizes. They also come with either back or bottom connections. For connection sizes, inch and a half are eighth inch connections, two and a half would be a quarter inch, and four inch can either be a quarter or a half inch connection. These come with a threaded orifice. The reason is that if it's being used on a clean hydraulic system, they may want a restrictor on it. If you open up a ball valve with 100 PSI, it will hit a smaller entrance allowing the blow to be absorbed without damaging the gauge, whereas if you didn't, all the pressure could hit at once, potentially harming the gauge and also creating a hammer effect. The standard PFQ comes with leaded brass. However, if you have an application that has palatable water, you're going to want a gauge that has lead-free brass to meet the Clean Water Drinking Act. When it has LF at the end of the part number, it stands for lead-free, not liquid-filled. I have the links below if you're interested in looking at either these gauges or plenty of other types as well. Did I miss anything that you were hoping to learn? Or do you have any questions about the video? Just send us an email or leave a comment below and we'll be happy to get back to your request. If you did find this video to be useful, please leave a like, click subscribe, and also click that notification bell so we can stay in touch with our updated videos. That's all for today. I hope to see you soon.